Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I got Vanessa Molina, like mother and son, and Maniology MXM 078. Here is a Vanessa Molina nail polish, and this is like mother and son. It was from the Hella Handmade March of 2022, I believe, and it's magnetic. Yay! I'll be using this little magnet. It's generic. It doesn't have a name on it. I'm going to be using the rounded in. I've got Nail Cheeks Formula 2 on my nails, and here we go. We're hopping in. I am so excited about this one. You guys know I love magnetic nail polish. And this is like duochrome just chock full of loveliness. I, I just I really liked this one. So there we go. I'm going to cap my free edge here. And this, I believe, has those reflective glitters in it that's all popular right now. So pretty. So we're going to go in with the second coat. I do a fairly thin coat. I like to keep my coats pretty thin. But on this second one, I'm going to go in just a little thicker because I want to do the magnet. And I'm moving the magnet when I own each nail. I'm not putting it in the same spot. Because I'm just wanting to get like a little corner or bit of each nail in different directions and areas. I just, um, I don't know. I didn't want it like straight up the same on every nail. I am going to top this with INMs out the door. And once I get that on there, I'm also going to stop and use the magnet again. Now, I hold the magnet for like 15 Mississippis. <laughs> 15 seconds or so, capping that free edge really well. And here we go back in with the magnet again. And I think doing this just helps kind of solidify that magnetic effect on the nail. Um, this is just how I do it, how I've always done it. And there is my swatch photo of it on its own. And here we go with Maniology MXM078. And I'm going to be using this like wispy leaves and the little tree with leaves blowing. I'll also be using Shut Out from Bases Loaded Lacquer and Fabio Nails Stamper and the H. La Cosadora Scraper. So I'm going to put this tree image on a couple of nails. I'm going to do my thumbnail and my ring fingernail. Here I'm hopping in with a piece of tape to get up some excess I don't want on my image on my nail. <laughs> There we go. Oh, so pretty. I am going to clean my stamper off on a lint roller. And then that plate's going to get cleaned with some pure acetone. And we're going to swatch out another one of these onto my ring fingernail. There we go. And I really did enjoy this manicure. It was really fun to see it. Like when I was driving with my hand up on the top of the steering wheel. It would, I'm telling you, that polish was screaming like a gold and green. But mostly it looked kind of that purple and orange. It was just so much fun to wear. Getting, getting the next image. This is that, the wispy vines and leaves. Kind of reminds me of like a weeping willow. You know how they've got the long skinny branches. I'm recycling some of that over onto my pinky nail also. <laughs> you know, use what you can. Clean that plate off with some acetone again and let's do this again. I'm going to turn the plate because I was having a little bit of trouble scraping and getting it, you know, the corner images are tricky. So I just recommend if you're having trouble, keep, you know, turning the plate, try different scrapers, different ways of doing it. And that one looks pretty good. I had to do it twice, but it still turned out pretty good. All right. And then I've got to fill in one more little spot on that pinky nail. There we go. I'm going to clean this plate up with some pure acetone and wipe over it with a lint-free wipe. <clears throat> I used to use paper towels, but a lot of the plates I've been using lately have been... Um, really etched deeply and they're just tearing up them paper towels and leaving little fuzzy paper towel bits everywhere. 
I am hopping in here with a piece of tape and cleaning up. And then now I'm going in with my cleanup brush and getting getting my fine-tuned cleanup done. Lovely. I'm going to use the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat over these stamped images to kind of seal them in without smearing them. And once that's totally dry, I'm hopping in here with my Posh Top Coat. And we're going to seal this in. And I'm telling you, you put that glossy top coat on top and I mean, it's just, it looks so dimensional, you know? I mean, it's just, oh, love it. Capping that free edge. Alrighty, here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.